Kavita Shanae here at Dr. Bolton's office and joining us is a beautiful couple, Vito and Julie. I wanted to ask you, when did you first start noticing your hair loss? Probably five, six years ago. I'm gonna be 45 in July. I noticed a um, little bit of confidence level goes down. He's got a very young, vibrant personality, so um, it's gonna be nice to see his body image match. A little nervous, but um, excited. I think it's more nervous excitement. She's more worked up than I am worried about me. I did, I went to one of the main chains, and it was, you know. Weren't impressed. Twice as much money, and they were gonna send me to some doctor I didn't even know, and, it, and then I no. researched, and then I called another big chain, and then I found, I wanted to talk to the doctor that was actually going to do it instead of a sales girl. And once, you couldn't speak with a doctor at this place. No. <gasps> oh my god. It, it was stuff like that. So then once I, I came in, met with Josh, and met with Doc. You know, I know. Okay, this guy's doing it. And there was people walking in and out. And he's like, Hey, come here, check him out. This is what I did here. Check this guy's scar out. And half the people that were here had the surgery done somewhere else. And the doctor showed me some of the guy's scars that were yep. gouged. And then I, he goes, And this is the one I did that was. 10 times as long, oh and I couldn't gosh. even see it. No. And, guy, and I'm saying, all right, this is it. Hi there, here we are with our patient Vito. He's here for a 10-day uh, follow-up post-op. Uh, we did a max size case on Vito. Uh, when we do a max size case, what we do is we harvest our patients all the way from one side, uh, all the way to the other side. His stitches are currently still in, and we're gonna show you what those look like when they're in. So we harvested from this side over here. Um, that's the end of the, that's the knot. You can see the little loops where the stitches are. And as you can see, it's already undetectable while the stitches are in. Once we take these stitches out, you won't be able to find this at all. So let's follow the entire way around. So that's what the stitch is in. Okay, all the way around. And here it is all the way over here. Now we're gonna take these stitches out and then we'll show you again what that looks like. Hi there, here we are with our patient Vito. Uh, Vito came in for a seven and a half month follow up, is that right? Seven yep. and a half month? And uh, we did one maxed harvest hair transplant procedure on Vito. And for those of you who have been following along, Vito, Vito's been a great sport. We've uh, been able to film him several times. Let's show you how Vito's suture line came out. When we do that max harvest hair transplant procedure, we harvest as far as we can get from the one side and then go all the way to the other side. This tiny trace line, you can see this, how it goes into this little white area. That's the suture line. Let's follow it all the way around. That's the suture line right there. Okay, so this is the suture line that we're looking at here. And let's just look at it the entire way. Vito, this came out absolutely perfect. That's the suture line right there. Okay, so let's follow that. Oh, it almost, there it is, okay. So this is it here. And let's follow that all the way around. So that's where that line was there. You can see how it's got a little pinkness to it still. That'll believe it or not will all go away over time. And for patients who are concerned about suture lines, this is how a proper suture line should come out if you follow your instructions and it's done with the proper hands. Oh, since the day when I walked into the door, I mean, the staff and professionalism was second to none. There was a sense of uh, comfort when I came into here and confidence that if I was going to spend this kind of money, I wanted to do it once and do it right, and my intuition was correct. It was coming in so thick and so much, he actually said, you've got to hook me up with a really good hairstylist because I don't know what to do with all this. <laughs> 
Well, I think a lot of it's self-confidence. It's just nice to see them just not even think about having to throw a hat on. The other night I was hanging out with my buddy and he's just sitting there staring at me and I'm like, what? He goes, dude, he goes, I can't believe your hair. He said, you went from looking like 52 years old to 45 like I really am. I, I would do it again. I did, like I said, I went to the chains and then when I came here, um, Doc Walton gave me twice as many, almost 8,000 hairs for a lot, a lot lower that I felt comfortable that I could do it. We had a Halloween party uh, a couple weeks ago and I told a couple of guys that you know were there that I had the surgery done. They were all trying to find my uh, suture lines and, and nobody could even find them. Don't just go to one place if you're looking. I looked at three of them. I did my homework on the internet. Unless you can sit there and talk to the doctor and see what his results are and stuff. Um, I wouldn't just sign up the first place I went to.